Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, DGBIG from Q-Town Productions, back again with another wedding DJ gig log. And thank God today the weather is great, luckily. So uh, don't forget also, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you like the content that we're trying to do weekly videos here, but things have been so busy. I was worried about the rain. Luckily, it's not raining today, thank God. But we're at Bombay Palace today. Got an awesome setup going down today at uh, Bombay Palace on the patio. Now, last time we did the setup, um, there was like a 60% chance it was gonna rain, or 40% chance. So we didn't wanna take a chance with all the equipment, so we had to manage and last minute. It was so stressful, we could not get a tent. We tried getting tents, some kind of coverings. We couldn't, everything was booked up. So we managed to kind of put the setup a little bit underneath inside the hall facing outwards on the patio now for this event it's going to be completely on the patio since we don't got to worry about the rain thankfully so that's a really big thing in the lower mainland especially if you're planning a wedding or a wedding reception or any type of event in the lower mainland weather is one of the biggest things to consider like you know it's it's really stressful here <laughs> especially for djs like myself we're worried about the weather constantly. Like you never know what's gonna happen. Even during the heat wave, we had we've had rain, right? So I mean, anything's really possible. Now uh, today's setup: we got screens coming in. We got LED curved booth uh, side panel screens, uh, LED star curtain backdrop, uh, staging. Uh, we're bringing in a full sound system again the JBL line array system uh, with 21 inch woofers. Pretty excited about that. Uh, again, we'll probably have better sound on the patio than the whole venue, because that's how we do it. And no offense to the venue, but that's just how we are. I don't know why people like to WhatsApp call me. I hate WhatsApp call, guys. If you guys WhatsApp call me, 99% of the time I don't answer. So just letting you know that, because it always sounds like crap. Like, just call me on my phone. It takes just as long. Uh, but yeah, that, that, I only answer WhatsApp calls if they're from India. But uh, if it's not from India, then I usually don't answer. But yeah, back to the setup here. So, you know, we're going to be doing, uh, uh, we're hooking up our uh, incredible laser as well, and we're outdoors. I just was able to grab another fog machine, even though we're running two hazers today. Uh, just for the laser and uh, two beam lights as well that we got some really nice uh, Intimidator hybrid beam spotlights that are really nice actually so oh this quick story about this fog machine I had to grab I wanted to grab the specific fog machine so I had to go rent it um, this is just something I wanted to do because I like this machine it's the ADJ Fierce I believe it's called or Fury it's the one with the RGB lights on it really like this fog machine um, it's kind of cool, you know, it kind of gives you like the CO2 gas type of vibe uh, Especially for outdoors because I'm noticing like even when we hook up multiple haze machines that since we're outdoors uh, The the fog or whatever the haze it doesn't Stick around as much as you were as if you were indoors obviously because you're outdoors right and the haze is just going everywhere, but With this machine, we're just gonna fog the crap out of the place <laughs> like you know luckily we're on the patio so we don't got to worry about people complaining um, as much. And client is cool with it. And he just wants it to be bumping. So I was like, all right, man, we're going to make it really crazy for you, for you guys. Um, yeah, and Long and McQuaid is where I rented it from. Okay, they're completely out of fog fluid. Like the store is out of fog fluid. Even the machine, they had two machines. One machine was completely bone dry. Okay, there was no juice in the tank second machine was half full so luckily they were able to hook me up with a little bit of a discount on the machine itself but still you know i gotta like rationalize my fog fluid now throughout the night which kind of sucks but because i like to go crazy with it but luckily we got the two backup hazers you know uh we're bringing in our own distro power uh next year i'm looking into just buying a crazy generator uh like this year was a test to see what's going on with stuff but next year thinking I'm gonna go all out and basically grab everything depending on my busy schedule but you know next year definitely gonna pre-plan for next year 
things are getting very busy. Well, they are busy right now, but even for next year, it seems like it's going to be really busy. October this year is already looking very busy, which we're getting a bunch of inquiries now for that as well. Well, we have been for the last couple months, but so shocked. Usually October is more Halloween parties and this and that, but you know, it seems like a lot of people are doing wedding events and some people are just wanting to throw a party just because during COVID they didn't get to throw a party. So we've had those calls and inquiries as well. People are just tired of COVID, man. It's annoying. Um, every week, like, I'm honestly scared that they might even shut down somebody's party or event that we have planned. So I'm always on my toes about that. You just never know, right? Um, like, even with this mask mandate coming back into effect, wasn't something I'd expect, but uh, now everywhere in BC here, especially in the Lower Mainland, like, if you're going to a store or any non-essential business or whatever, public place, they're making you wear masks again. Um, even on that um, boat yacht party we did recently, what are you doing? Like, honestly, I, I hate some drivers, guys. This person has your signal, like, are you coming in or going out here? And I'm a pro. Okay, so I'm quickly here. I'm actually at the venue just got to Bombay Palace. Uh, and I'm about to set up some beam lights right now with the other production team. With the staging's going in. And I'm gonna program some lighting. So I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy the cinematic highlight reel of this event. There's gonna be lots going on. Highly doubt I'm gonna be able to vlog during the uh, reception itself. All right, so catch you guys later on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join this channel if you wanna learn about mobile DJing and the mobile DJ industry, all right? Peace out, guys.